I found out my wife is cheating on me with her best friend's husband. So I kicked her out of my house and ruined her life with her lawyer best friend. I am 33 male. Married to Summer, 28 female. For four years before she did something unspeakable. Summer I met when I freshly graduated from college. We both attended the same career training program, and from there, we fell in love. I didn't express our love at the beginning of our friendship. It took me a while to express my feelings to her. The truth is, I took my time because I didn't want to be deceived by her beautiful smiles and all. I had recently come out of a toxic relationship and didn't want to jump back into another one. Eventually, we became close, and we both admitted to being attracted to each other. We started dating soon after that. After dating for two years, we married and moved into a bigger apartment. I'd say the living was summer, and getting to know her every day was fun. Personality-wise, I liked that she always had something under her sleeves. As newly married couples, we were obsessed with each other and did everything together. We ate, shopped, had our baths, and even prayed together. I had read somewhere that spending time with your lover or spouse helped strengthen the bond. That's precisely what I did with Summer. Before we got married, Summer and I decided not to have kids until we were ready so that we could enjoy each other's company without any distractions. While Summer worked as a secretary and a big tech firm, I worked as a construction worker. Our earning was enough to sustain our simple yet sophisticated life, and we kept working hard, believing that we would transition into a better career in the future. Between the two of us, Summer was the more social one, and she could make friends with anybody she wanted to. I was the polar opposite of her. I barely made friends and was only close to my older brother. Summer had a best friend, Claire, 28 female, and they had been friends since their early school days. On my end, I stuck to being close to my brother because it was difficult for me to open up to new people. I had few friends, but no one was that close to being called the best friend. Summer and her best friend were so close that if one didn't know better, one could mistake them as sisters. They were both blonde, had the same eye color, and acted similarly. Claire was like a family member to us, and we visited each other's place frequently. Claire was a lawyer, and her husband had his own business. Occasionally, we would arrange outings as a family unit, and always hang out at least twice a month. Being an introvert, I tried my best to build a strong relationship with Claire's husband but no matter how hard I tried, it didn't go smoothly. Our conversations felt forced, and every other thing we did felt forced too. Despite feeling this way, I never complained when Summer and Claire fixed an outing or planned for us to go on a vacation as a family unit. I understood that Summer was only trying to make us have fun and not get overwhelmed with work. I also tried to use those opportunities to get rid of my introvertness. This is to say that Claire's husband was no stranger to me at all. Summer was also very close to him, and since they had known each other for at least two years before I came into the picture, I didn't suspect anything fishy was going on between us until Claire asked for us to meet one day in a cafe. When I met Claire that day, she looked worried, and the first thing she said to me was, I think my husband is cheating on me. Initially, I was confused because her husband did not seem like the kind of man that would cheat on her. He loved her so much and literally adored the ground she walked on. Anytime I went out for dinner, a picnic, or went over to have dinner at their place, her husband always treated Claire like she was the only woman on earth. It even got to a point where Summer began to compare me to Claire's husband. Every time we returned from our team hangout, she always had a way of pointing out the things Claire's husband did for Claire and the things I didn't do for her. She complained over and over until I got on my nerves. It felt like Summer was jealous of her best friend and now her husband treated her but she never admitted it. The thing is, Claire's husband inherited a big landscaping business from his father, so even without working so hard, he had the money rolling in for him and he could afford to buy Claire fancy things and other expensive lady stuff. And each time Claire received something fancy from her husband, she would call and tell Summer excitedly and the two would talk about it. But immediately after Summer got off the call, she would say nasty things about Claire and how she didn't deserve to get two expensive bracelets in three months. I never mentioned this to Claire or her husband because I felt it was a best friend's thing to want to have what her best friend has. So when Claire told me she suspected her husband was cheating on her, it shocked me. I didn't try to vouch for him because I knew it would be foolish. Then, just as I was trying to look at things from her angle, it dawned on me that she was supposed to be conversing with Summer, not me. 
When I asked Claire why she was talking to me instead of Summer, she gave me a response that made my throat try up. Claire had told me that she suspected her husband was having an affair with Summer, her best friend, and my wife. I didn't know what to say, but I told her it wasn't possible that Summer would be having an affair with her best friend's husband. On my end, I was a good husband to her, and I showered her with enough love and attention. I knew I did not gift her as much as Claire's husband had gifted Claire, but I tried my best to give her on her birthdays or any occasion we celebrated. Even though I doubted that Summer could stoop so low to cheat on me with her best friend's husband, a part of me believed it was true. I almost zoned out. Retrospecting Summer's behavior over the last few months, I realized that Summer, indeed, had been acting differently. She no longer had time for me like she used to, and she had this unexplainable glow and excitement every time she was about to step out. Summer also became so cold, and we would stay in the same room, and it would feel like she wasn't there. Our conversations felt forced, and her bumbling sense of humor was gone even when I tried to crack jokes. I took it as a phase that would pass eventually, but I was wrong. Aside from that, Summer recently renovated her wardrobe and got more tight and exposing clothes. She wore them to work, and any time she wanted to go out, they made her look like a teenager in heat. I wasn't the kind of person who objected to my wife's clothing choices, so I never said anything. All this while, I didn't know that Summer started wearing those teeny tiny dresses to seduce her best friend's husband. So after Claire told me about her suspicions, we decided that we would investigate on her own before concluding anything. After returning home, I waited for Summer to sleep so that I could go through her phone. She was clean as a weasel. I think he meant to say a whistle, but weasel is probably more accurate. I checked all her social media accounts to see if she had been communicating with Claire's husband there, but I couldn't find anything. I searched for a week and even went through her work laptop, but there was nothing. At one point, I even felt bad that I was trying to find something that had the possibility of not existing, but when I saw how distant we had become in the space of weeks, I was sure she was seeing someone, even if it wasn't Claire's husband. On the other hand, I didn't know that Claire had hired a private investigator to follow her husband around, and after what seemed like a week and some days of the P.I. following him around, Claire turned out to be correct. Indeed, Summer was having an affair with Claire's husband, and after we saw all the pictures and videos of them hanging out together, kissing each other, and doing the other things cheaters do, we were so heartbroken. I don't even know who was the most heartbroken between us. Maybe it was Claire because it wasn't easy to find out the two people she trusted in her life could betray her like that. As for me, I wasn't just heartbroken, I was mad. It was painful to know that all my sacrifices were just about to go down the drain because of a wife with no contentment. She always had her eyes out for everything Claire's husband was doing for Claire, and in the end, she betrayed her best friend and destroyed two marriages. After Claire sent all the evidence to me, I tried as much as possible to stay calm. At first day, I didn't sleep at home because I feared what I could do to Summer. I had to go and meet Claire because she was the only one who could relate to my pain. After comforting each other, I dropped her at her house and went to look for a motel to pass the night. Funnily enough, I still couldn't sleep because I was deeply hurt. The thoughts of Claire's husband doing it with my wife kept running through my head. Around the same time, I began to put the pieces together and understood why her intimacy life just disappeared. The following morning was a weekend, so I went home. Summer was at home, unbothered, that I slept out of the house. Merrily looking at her made me angry, and I tried so much to control my emotions, but I couldn't. I had to confront her about it. When I told her I was hearing rumors about her and Claire's husband, she froze and asked me, How did you find out? Look. I expected that she would deny it, and she did not disappoint. She told me that it was insane of me to believe that she could betray her best friend and cheat on me. She looked so convincing that I would have believed her if I didn't have the evidence the private investigator gathered. After laughing at her ignorance, I brought out my phone and showed her all the pictures and videos Claire had sent me. When Summer saw them, she flipped immediately and said that someone was trying to frame her up, and the video and pictures weren't what I thought. I told her that videos were from her best friend, Claire, so they could not have been forged. I had barely finished what I was saying when Summer started yelling at the top of her voice. She said that Claire was trying to destroy our marriage and that she always knew Claire was always jealous of her. To be honest, 
That was the last thing I expected to hear from her. She was such a great actress, and before I could say another word, she took her car key and stormed out of the house in anger. I wasn't bothered when she left because I knew she would come home to me, but I didn't know Summer had gone to confront Claire. I was at home, looking at the evidence, when I got a call from Claire that Summer had come to her house and physically assaulted her. She even broke a couple of things at her home, and they were no longer friends. It felt like a joke because they didn't expect Summer to go and confront Claire even after she had been caught red-handed. It didn't make sense to me. Shortly after Summer was done at Claire's house, she came up, looking all peaceful, like nothing had just happened. When I asked her why she had gone to assault her best friend, her response was, because I had been wanting to put her in her place for a very long time. Her response said it all, and at that moment, I knew I had been blinded by love the whole time. I was evident that Summer never loved Claire as she made it look. She had been bitter about her friend's progress and had been pretending the whole time. When I went to see Claire at the hospital later that evening, I was shocked at the extent that what Summer had done to her best friend of so many years. Between the two of them, Summer was the wilder, and Claire was mainly peaceful. She was unique in her own way, and I guess that was what Summer envied. I had a gut feeling that I wasn't just about her husband. Summer must have felt threatened by Claire's success and life of ease, so she wanted to take away the one thing that mattered to her. It turned out that Summer didn't only hurt Claire physically, she also hurt her emotionally, and said things that best friend shouldn't say to her best friend. Summer had vented out in front of Claire and her husband how Claire always acted like the better one between them, and was tired of seeing Claire live the life she wanted. She even went as far as saying that she was tired of Claire rubbing all of her success and gifts in her face, and she hated Claire for always making her feel like she was nothing. Claire said she was shocked when Summer said all those things and didn't know Summer felt that way about her all those years. With that, I knew Summer was a lost cause, and if she could betray her best friend like that she could do anything to me. She was capable of cold blood and murder, and that wasn't the kind of woman I wanted to spend the rest of my life with, never. Funnily enough, after her relationship with Claire's husband was exposed, she tried to come back to me. Although I have told her I'm seeing a divorce lawyer, I haven't shoved the papers yet. She thinks that there's still a chance. Her attitude changed, and she stopped going out like before. Now, she's been trying to do things she stopped doing. She tries to seduce me and cook for me, but I can see through her pretense. I've been eating out since I found out, and I won't stop until summer is out of my roof. After Claire and I found out about Summer's betrayal, Claire begged that I control my emotions and continue a Summer, so she could think our marriage was still intact. Now the thing is, looking at her disgusts me. I cannot let her touch me because my mind is no longer with her, but despite everything she has done, a part of me still loves and yearns for her. But what do I do? If we fix things in the future, she will still cheat on me. We've only been married for four years and she's already cheating. At the same time, I just wish I could kick her out of my house and throw her things on the lawn so the neighbors can know how much of a loose woman she is. Meanwhile, Claire officially divorced her husband last week and Summer has been low-key, insinuating that Claire was not good enough for her husband. She still thinks I bought her lies about Claire framing her. She believes our marriage will continue as before, but she's mistaken. Anyways, it's all for the best. Claire has been cooking something for Summer and I can't wait to see her face when it happens. Importantly, I can't wait to throw her cheating but out of my house. Update 1. Hello, everyone. Thank you for your comments. While waiting for Claire's signal, I shifted to a hotel because I could not bear Summer's face. I felt disgusted looking at her. Meanwhile, Claire has recovered fully from her injuries she sustained from Summer's assault, and she has dragged Summer to court. She sued Summer for alimony, and her for physically assaulting her. When Summer got served, she stormed into my workplace because she wasn't aware of my hotel. She said Claire had no right to sue her for alimony, and she wouldn't give her a dime. She even said Claire started the fight between them, so she did everything she could to defend herself. I knew that was a lie because when she returned from Claire's house that day, she said something about putting Claire in her place, which should not seem like a defense. I told her that it was not my problem anymore. She has dug the road for herself, and now she herself has to travel alone. Long story short, Claire had the upper hand in court, and the court ruled in her favor. The court ordered Summer to pay up the alimony, 
and she was fined extra for assaulting Claire in her own home. Although, I wasn't present for the live action, Claire kept me updated. That day I went back home to complete the task I had been longing for. As soon as Summer saw me, she started playing the victim, and I left her alone to deal with all this mess. She had the nerve to say I was the worst husband because I didn't support her. She said I should have sided with her to attack Claire together. When she stopped talking, I told her that husbands were meant to support loyal and faithful wives and not a cheating whore like her. The annoying thing was she still acted innocent and asked what I meant by that. Seeing that stupid, innocent look on her face even had angered me more, and I began to yell at her. I told her I knew she was sleeping with her best friend's husband, but I had to pretend like I didn't. So in the end, she would experience what it felt like to have her hope shattered. As I spoke, I pulled all the divorce paper and asked her to sign them. When she saw them, she fell on her knees and began to beg me. She said she had lost everything and could not afford to lose me. I told her it was already too late, and I began to throw her things out on the front lawn, just as I had imagined. I was so surprised to see Summer cry and run after me in a house like that. I didn't know she had an inner. I ended up throwing her out, and I made sure I removed all of her property and littered them on the lawn. All of this happened last week, and since then, she isn't calling me, sending me numerous voicemails and multiple messages a day on all of our mutual social media platforms. She even went as far as calling my older brother to talk to me on her behalf, but I asked him to block her, and he did. I will make another update as soon as she signs the divorce papers. Update 2. Hello, everyone. I'm glad to see your comments. For those asking if I felt fulfilled when I threw Summer out of the house, yes, I did. It was as if a burden had been lifted off my shoulders, and I wish I could do it repeatedly. I kicked Summer out of the house last month. The last time she came to my house, she met Claire there, with me and I was so angry. I know the last person she expected to see was Claire, and it wasn't a beautiful sight for her to behold. She was also shocked that Claire and I had become great companions while she lived out there in pain and misery. I even have a gist. So Summer tried to return to her mother's house after I kicked her out of my house, but when her mother heard that she had betrayed her best friend and cheated on me, she disowned her and kicked her out of the house. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't glad when Summer met Claire at my house. I loved the look of defeat on her face when Claire answered the door. We didn't even let her into the house because she was negative energy. Maybe if I didn't step in on time, she would have assaulted Claire and my property, but I yelled at her and told her that if she showed up at my house again, I'd arrest her. Well, she didn't leave immediately. She still stayed and created a scene, saying I had been cheating on her with Claire. When Claire heard that, she started yelling at her in anger. She told Summer she wasn't a backstabbing witch like her, and she would never take her best friend's husband. We thought that after exchanging words and all, Summer would go away in shame. But despite everything Claire and I said to her that day, she still stood on the porch and fought back with her words. She was even like a child with multiple personalities. One minute, she would cry and beg me to take her back. The next minute, she would be all defensive. It got to a point that she was disturbing the neighbor's peace and neighbors began to come out. At that point, I was forced to call the police on her, and she was arrested. I'm so happy to announce that Summer and I are divorced. As for Summer, she's out of my life for good. She lost it all. She lost her husband, her best friend, money, and even her mother. Worst of all, Claire's husband dumped Summer after their affair was brought to light. I'm sure she's somewhere sulking in regrets. Whatever she got was well-deserved. I'm glad I belong to such a fantastic community. Thank you everyone, for your comments and advice. I do not take this community for granted.